A new feature in Excel 2013 is called Quick Analysis. Now, this is data analysis made so simple. All you need to do is get some data, select it. As soon as you select two or more cells, you'll see this little icon appears for Quick Analysis. And we can click on that to reveal five menus. We've got options from formatting, charts, we can insert totals, tables and pivot tables, and spark lines. Now let's just take a look at formatting. If I hover my mouse over formatting, I get a preview of how it's going to look. Now I'm just going to scroll up a little so we can see it better. Click on the icon. I can select from data bars, color scale. Now I like the color scale because it gives me an insight into how these values are compared to one another. And the data that we're looking at here is the daily intake of fruit and vegetables for the Australian population. And I can quickly see that actually the worst offenders are the 25 to 34 year old age group who must barely eat any fruit and veg, probably because they've, they're now too old to live at home and they're out there looking after themselves, but not very well. We can also see quickly, and I haven't even clicked on anything other than that quick analysis icon, I just hovered my mouse over color scale and I can see that the 65 to 74 year old age group are the best, although still very low. Uh, we're not very healthy it looks like in Australia. Anyway, we're not here to analyze this so let's have a look. We've also got icon sets, greater than and top 10. Now if I click on greater than I have to give it a value to base my greater than on and I can modify that. It's selected one for me based on the data that I've selected. Now with the conditional formatting tool when you select the data it sets these scales based on the whole data set that you've selected. So just be careful when you're applying this formatting to make sure that the scale is in context, the correct context. So sometimes it might not make sense to select the whole table. Okay, let's move on and we'll take a look at the next one. We can also insert charts. So we simply select charts from the menu. Now Excel gives us a preview when we hover over it, but you'll also see that there's different chart types here and these are all appropriate to my my data set. It's going to select charts that it thinks will work. Now it might not work perfectly every time and that's why it gives you a selection and you can also choose more charts and this will open the insert chart dialog box and you can choose from even more charts and the all charts tab will give you every chart that uh, Excel has so you can continue to search through those if you can't find what you want. Okay, with totals. Now totals are pretty cool. If I select my table of data, click analysis, totals, I can choose to either add totals to the bottom, so I'm totaling the columns. You can see a preview as I hover over the different icons. And these blue icons here all apply totals to the columns. If I click on the black arrow, I can scroll across and actually add totals for the rows. And if I select this running total, it inserts a formula for me that's ready to copy down. So if I were to add a new row of data, I could simply copy that formula down and it would continue my running total. Okay, next we've got tables. Now for tables, you have to select your whole data set and then click on the quick analysis tables. And then hovering over table will give you a preview. It's going to insert or apply the table formatting to your data set. And then you can continue to work with it with the filters and the other, other features that you get with tables like structured references. The other thing we can do here is create pivot tables. Now I don't even need to know how to create a pivot table. I can just hover my mouse over the different options, click one I think looks okay. Excel goes ahead, inserts a sheet, puts my pivot table in there, and I haven't had to do anything. Now, it's not perfect. Uh, I'm not sure why it has only selected some of the age group buckets, but it has. So it's a little bit hit and miss. You can then, though, go and add to the pivot table and modify it as you wish. 
and it, I think it's a great int introduction to pivot tables if you've never used them before. Um, it's going to at least point you in the right direction, hopefully most of the time. Okay, what have we got next? Lastly, we've got sparklines. Now, sparklines are mini charts that get inserted into one cell. We can choose from a line chart, column chart, or win loss, and they show the trend of values over time. So if I select column, you can see it's gone ahead and inserted sparklines here for me based on the trend of this data over time, or in, across these buckets, I should say. So you can see quick analysis is awesome if you're not sure or not familiar with this data and you want to get a quick insight into what's going on with it or get an insight into what patterns might exist without actually applying anything or doing too much work. It's also great if you're not familiar with these tools like formatting, charts, pivot tables and spark lines because Excel does a lot of the work for you. You just have to experiment with what data you select before you click on the quick analysis tool. Now if you want to modify any of the formatting that gets applied or the charts that get inserted, unfortunately you're going to need to know those skills to be able to make those changes to what Excel puts in for you using the quick analysis tool. And to delete anything that it's put in, well if you delete it straight away you can simply press Ctrl Z. Otherwise, you can go to the Home tab and clear, choose the clear you want, whether you want to clear it all or just clear the formatting. Now, if you get really annoyed with this icon that keeps popping up and you find it more of a hindrance than a help, then you can turn it off. Just go to the File tab and then down to Options. It'll open up the Excel Options box on the General group and here show quick analysis options on selection just simply uncheck that if you don't like it but I suggest you give it a go because I think actually for the most part it's quite handy and as you move your mouse away from the icon it turns itself off so it's not always in the way okay so there is quick analysis only available in Excel 2013 onwards so if you haven't got a copy perhaps you can go and pester your boss to um, upgrade so you can experiment with this great tool. And if you want to experiment with this data, you can go back to our blog and download the workbook and have a play around with it. Okay, thanks for watching.